in this module you shall be able to know how black and white and color film is processed, learn about black and white film formats, constituents of black and white film developer. Light striking on film causes a reaction in light sensitive layers. The extent of the reaction is dependent upon the amount of light hitting the film. Too much light will overexpose the film which will make it fully black in the extreme case. Too little light will underexpose the film and leave little or no image. An exact amount of light needs to strike the film to get the best result. The amount of light required is not same for all films and depends on film speed. Formation of black and white films. First is anti-scratch layer. This layer protects the emulsion from physical damage. Second is emulsion. This layer contains the halides which form the photographic images. Third is adhesive layer. This layer bonds the anti-halation and anti-curl layer to the base. Then is film base. It is transparent layer which supports the image. Then is anti-curl or anti-halation coating. This layer prevents the film being exposed from the rear and stabilizes the laminate to prevent curling. Black and white structure and forms. A super coat of gelatin a few micrometers, 1 micrometer is 0.001 millimeter. Thick protects the emulsion from scratches and abrasion marks. The emulsion layer, silver halide suspended in gelatin is usually 9 to 12 micrometers thick but may sometimes reach 25 micrometers. A substrate or subbing layer promotes addition of the emulsion to the film base. The film base is usually cellulose, triacetate or a related polymer. The thickness may range from 0.08 to 0.2 millimeters. Films for graphic arts and scientific purposes are often coated on a polyethylene or other polyester support of high dimensional stability. A backing layer on the rear of the film base counteracts curling. Usually it contains a nearly opaque dye to suppress light reflection on the rear support surface. Such reflection halation reduces definition by, by causing halo like effects around every bright image points. Some film bases are tinted grey to absorb light that has passed through the emulsion layer. Film identification. A carton of film contains information like the manufacturer, type of film, film speed, number of exposures, expiry date, processing instructions and storage instructions etc. Black and white film formats. These are 35 mm films, 120 films and next is spectral sensitivity of black and white film. Orthochromatic. This emulsion is sensitive from violet to green region of the spectrum and hence can be handled in deep orange light which is safe for the film. Next is panchromatic. This type of film is all color sensitive. That is, it responds to all the color of the spectrum, even up to ultraviolet rays. So it should be handled in complete darkness. Next is infrared sensitive. This type of film is sensitive from ultraviolet to infrared region of the spectrum. Black and white film latitude. The latitude of a film is the amount of exposure error the user can make before the picture degrades noticeably. Black and white print and color print film have quite a high latitude that is at least a full stop either side of the ideal exposure may be allowed. However, slide film has latitude of about 1 by 3 stop either side of the ideal. Steps in black and white film processing. First step is working solutions of developer, stop bath and fixer to be prepared. Second is film from the container to be loaded in the processing spool. 
working solutions to be brought to the required temperature. Temperature generally is 20 degrees Celsius for black and white. A pre-wash of the exposed film in plain water at the above temperature is good. The developer has to be poured in the processing tank and agitated approximately to begin development. The developer should be poured out about 10 seconds before the appropriate development is over. Pour in the stop bath. This is pretty quick and should only take about 30 seconds. One minute to do this work. Pour out after the required time. Pour in the fixer solution and leave for the recommended time. Commonly 2 to 5 minutes. Pour out after the required time. Wash the film. There are several methods of doing this. But probably the easiest and quickest is if you can wait to see the results is to fill the processing tank up and invert 5 times. Pour out and refill. Invert 10 times. Pour out and refill, invert 20 times, pour out. Remove film and place a film clip at either end of the film. One to hang up and the other to weigh down. Squeeze the film to remove surplus water. Leave to dry. The basic requirements for black and white processing. First is rolls of exposed black and white film. Daylight type developing tank. Film can opener, beaker or measuring cups, thermometer, scissors, containers, negative carrier and three containers for mixing chemicals. Constituents of black and white film developer. First is developing agent. The main chemical which develops the film or paper with metal and phenidon. Preservative is this chemical saves the developer from being oxidized by atmospheric oxygen with sodium sulfide. Accelerator. This chemical alkali helps quick completion of development with sodium carbonate. Restraint. This chemical stops or controls the vigorous chemical reaction and thus protects the unexposed silver from being attacked by the developing agent and thus stops the fog formation with potassium bromide. Then is solvent. All the chemicals described above are of solid form. So for homogeneous mixing, a solvent is required, which is generally water. Standard formula of black and white film developer. The standard formula of a metal hydroquinone is as follows. The chemicals should be added to water as per the order. Metal 2 grams, sodium sulfide 60 grams, Hydroquinone 8 grams, sodium carbonate 30 grams, potassium bromide 1 gram and water 1000 cc. Stop bath after film processing. When the film development time is complete, either throw away the developing fluid or save for further use. Some manufacturers tell us how many films each quantity of developer can process. The number of cycles affect the development time. When the developer has been removed from the tank, the development process is abruptly stopped by use of a stop solution. The stop solution is mildly acidic and neutralizes the effect of the alkaline developer. It should be left in the tank for around a minute and then poured out back into the storage bottle. Fixing for non-permanent image. Development of films gives us visible images, but this will decay with re-exposure to light. So we must fix the image by dissolving the unexposed silver halide in hypo by making a fixer solution. First is sodium thiosulfate 300 grams, sodium metabisulfate 25 grams, water 1000 cc. Color films. Color film has a similar sandwich construction but is more complex due to its sensitivity to the three primary colors individually. Instead of one layer of light sensitive particles, color film has three light sensitive layers. Black and white film reacts to short wavelengths, mainly light perceived as blue 
if we are taking a picture of something blue red and orange the blue part would be too light and the red and orange part would look very dark so as the photographers found out about this problem they added dye sensitizers to the film to correct the color film today is sensitive to all colors in the spectrum today's film is usually coated with three emulsions which are usually cyan yellow and magenta each one of the emulsions is sensitive to only one of the light colors with the emulsion layers there is also a dye layer which makes a color that is equivalent to what a human eye sees light from the original is absorbed by r g and b sensitive layers of the color negative film then second is negative image dyes which control the transmission of light of the same color that is absorbed by each layer are produced during development white is basically what red plus green plus blue light is filtered by the negative when printing the color negative paper responds to the r g and b light passing through the negative positive reproduction dyes in the dwelt paper reproduce the colors of the original color method where instead of red green and blue it uses yellow magenta and cyan in the cyan magenta yellow system the top yellow layer is actually recording the blue information the middle magenta layer records the green information and the bottom cyan layer is recording the red information but most people relate better to rgb color so i will describe it that way color negative film processing the most common chemical kit out there is the c41 kit it will include four easy to mix powdered chemicals and according to the box should dwell 12 to 15 rolls of 35 mm film first is water prewet then second is dwelper third is bleach fourth is wash fifth is fixer sixth is wash seventh is stabilizer eighth is dry mixing color chemicals a narrow neck will help in keeping air out and a white base will not let them tipping over when working start by placing the chemical bottles into the hot bath insert a thermometer into a developing bottle and wait till it reaches 39.5 5 degree celsius this is actually half a degree hotter but it was found that in pouring the chemicals into the developing tank the chemicals will get cool enough to place it right on target black and white color printing on photographic paper the main major equipments required for black and white printing are first enlarger second photographic paper third esl fourth developing trays fifth safe light sixth chemicals and seventh is print dryer the enlarger is a major piece of equipment for printing by means of a projector basically enlarging consists of projecting an illuminated negative through suitable lens on a light sensitive paper an enlarger is a vertical type consisting of a lighthouse condenser negative carrier and extension below and even distribution of light is important so that there should not be any hot spot of light when a negative is projected through an enlarger the light loss in the corner of the negative is balanced by the light loss of the enlarger to produce an even distribution of light the enlarging lens is the most important piece of equipment since the clarity of the print depends on the capability of the lens in producing sharp image a faster lens that is a f by 2.8 rather than f by 4 permits shorter exposure times and provides a brighter image for focusing black and white photographic paper paper types chlorobromide paper used both for contact printing and enlarging by stable lens of development tones can be varied from reddish brown to warm black brown safe light must be used while handling this paper speed of this paper is 50% higher than chloride paper this type of paper has more exposure latitude than chloride paper next is bromide paper 
it is the most light sensitive paper. The main emulsion ingredient is silver bromide in gelatin. It must be handled in safe light of orange. All black and white photographic papers are available in different paper base like glossy, matte and velvet, crystal and semi matte and different types of base color like white, cream and yellow. Black and white photographic papers are available in two types of thickness namely 120 gm single way and 240 gm double way. Now paper grades ultra soft 8 or 9 tones soft 7 tones for over negatives special paper grade is used that is 6 tones for normal negatives normal and 5 tones for under negatives hard 4 tones for ultra hard the tones is 2 tones that is black and white paper developer normal standard paper developer consists of the following ingredients metal which is 2 grams sodium sulfide 35 grams hydroquinone 6 grams sodium carbonate 45 grams potassium bromide 2 grams and water 1000 cc dilution is 1 is to 1 processing temperature is 80 degree fahrenheit processing time is 3 minutes soft standard paper developer consists of the following ingredients metal 1.5 grams sodium sulfide 25 grams sodium carbonate 4 grams potassium bromide 0.5 grams water 500 cc dilution is 1 is to 1 processing temperature is 80 degree fahrenheit processing time is 3 minutes enlargement from high contrast negatives can be developed in double bath system for better result in double bath system 30 percent overexposure is required and development should be reduced to 30 percent soft and normal developer first put in soft developer for one and a half minute and then in second developer for one minute no intermediate washes required stop bath this is prepared with two percent acetic acid in one 100 cc of water it neutralizes the alkalinity of developer in the print fixer this is prepared by mixing 250 grams of hypo 2.5 grams of sodium meta bisulfate in 1000 cc of water fixing time is 15 minutes in fresh solution and 20 minutes in exhausted solution color printing in color printing the prints are made by exposing negatives on color paper maintaining the same steps with the help of a color enlarger and color chemicals the primary difference between color paper developing and black and white paper developing is the chemicals composition of paper and temperature single layer or two almost identical layers in the case of variable contrast paper development can be done in cold developer slow rate as long as the time of development is increased proportionately the same is not true for color development color papers have three layers of emulsions each layer responding to and developing into a different color the main rule is color development is constant temperature and consistent times and a completely black dark room color papers respond to all colors of light black and white film does too but not black and white paper any light in a color dark room will expose the paper so enlargement is done in complete darkness once a trial print is made assessment for color cast has to be done to evaluate the prints color for example the cast may be greenish which is to be corrected by increasing the magenta filter of the color enlarger similarly a cyan cast may be corrected by increasing red which is complementary color now the example additive or substrative color wheel complementary colors are magenta and green that are opposite to one another at first it may be difficult to differentiate between colors especially between red and magenta between cyan and blue or between yellow and green looking at a print especially white areas of a photograph or a corrected print through colored viewing filters will help you to see what each color looks like as a cast and larger color filtration once we know the color and strength of the cast it can be adjusted 
by filtration in the enlarger to correct the imbalance while it is possible to print color on a black and white enlarger by placing individual CP or CC filters. Enlargers with a dichoric head for color printing are more common. Dichoric heads contain three filters, cyan, magenta and yellow. Each can be adjusted separately. Collectively, the filters are known as the color pack. The filtration of each color enlarger varies depending upon the type of enlarger, its age and the age of the bulb. If we use a particular enlarger to print consistently, we can determine a good set of values for that particular color pack and a particular brand of color film when color correcting a new print. Change the enlarger color filtration. Once we have analyzed the trial prints, color cast adjustment through filtration in the enlarger will neutralize that cast. The final correct print may come after two or three correction processes. Re-evaluating image density. Increasing filtration blocks light. Decreasing filtration allows light to pass more easily to the print. As a result, the image density may change as a general rule. For every 10 points of filtration you add, add one second of time to the total exposure. For every 10 points of filtration you subtract, subtract one second from the exposure. Orthochromatic emulsion is sensitive from violet to green region of the spectrum and hence can be handled in deep orange light which is safe for the film. Second, black and white print and color print film have quite a high latitude that is at least a full stop either side of the ideal exposure may be allowed. However, slide film has latitude of about 1 by 3 stop either side of ideal. Third, fixing prevents the black and white film from being reactive to light and any more development processes. Fourth and the last, the primary difference between color paper developing and black and white paper developing is the chemicals composition of paper and the temperature.